the grid can't cope. If all cars plugged in at the same time, the system just couldn't cope. We'd have blackouts. Have you heard that one? Well, Dave takes it on, investigates what's really happening. As an opening salvo, the EV net deniers have a point. If all cars did plug in at once, the grid probably would not cope. But it can't happen. It is actually impossible. You see, at any one time, a large number of people are driving. Have you ever gone out and seen not a single car on the road for your entire journey, no matter how short it was? No. Well, next, not every single car needs charging. On days I don't use my car, it's often at about 50% stated charge, and there is no need to plug it in at all. Then finally, we come to not enough chargers. If every car in the UK was electric, which they aren't, and everybody did try to plug in at once, there are nowhere near enough chargers. So it cannot ever happen. My usual answer is to ask them what would happen if every single ICE car drove to the petrol station at exactly the same time to fill up. And they always answer for me. That can never happen. Point made. But I press them and they say, well, uh, there would be a few queues, but it only takes five minutes to fill up, so no real problem. Unfortunately, that's not true because it has happened in the past. It was not that long ago we had petrol shortages, massive queues at garages, people driving round searching for fuel as the petrol stations first rationed supplies, then ran out completely. They have very short memories and rose-coloured glasses. I asked them the killer question. If you occasionally get queues with 8,000 filling stations, should we build another 10,000 or 20,000 petrol stations so you never get any queues? These questions are not real. They come from people who've already decided that EVs don't work and are looking for logical facts to try and prove they're right. But they ignore the fact that nobody's forcing them to buy one. It's a free world. It's not my job to persuade them. I just wish that if someone has decided not to buy an EV, then just leave us EV drivers alone. I don't try to force you to eat certain foods or watch particular TV programmes or wear certain styles of clothes. It's your choice. It's got nothing whatsoever to do with me. So if I buy an EV, that's my choice. It's got nothing whatsoever to do with you. Back to the subject. The national grid. Is there enough capacity? Well, yes and no. Uh, the grid suffers from the same problems as our other utilities and services. We have an 18th century water and sewage system, a 19th century railway and NHS, and a 20th century electricity grid. What happened? Did the MPs not know we're in the 21st century? However, the national grid is already well on the way to becoming the first of our major services or utilities to make that jump. We have set a 2050 target of carbon neutral, and everyone in the industry believes we can get there. The grid is building, replacing, strengthening and updating in a massive programme. In 2016, our electricity peaked. Since then, our consumption has been going down steadily, with the switch to low energy light bulbs and appliances and better insulation. The recent price hike has made many of us look at how wasteful we actually are using washing machines and dishwashers for just a few items, leaving TVs and lights on in rooms not occupied. We continue to reduce consumption. And the National Grid has calculated that if every single car was electric, we would need to produce just a maximum of 10% more, almost back to 2016 levels. But even that could be almost entirely eliminated if we introduce smart devices and chargers. These monitor the grid and the availability of excess electricity and turn devices, including EV chargers, on and off to balance them. Some are already in use with EV chargers and Octopus Energy. Where you leave the car plugged in all the time is not being used and the smart bit charges it when there is plenty of electricity. Obviously, recently, that's been midday, with the tremendous weather we've had allowing huge production of PV-generated electricity. 
Cars won't ever all plug in at once. The grid won't crash. We will all be able to drive wherever we want. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, then please subscribe so that you can be notified when I re release the next one in the series. I'm Deb.